YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video. And in today's video, we have some more Redskins news. The Redskins have just signed yet another person. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL. Or in this case, the Washington Redskins. And let's get straight into today's video. So the Washington Redskins just made it official that they have signing free agent running back Peyton Barber to a two-year deal. Now, the deal... The, the details of the deal isn't yet confirmed like the amount of money that he's going to get or the incentives that he's going to get from game time playing if he makes the team that hasn't yet been disclosed to the public but we have confirmed to sign him to a two-year deal now Peyton Barber formerly played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers since 2016 I'm pretty sure the Tampa Bay Buccaneers drafted him um, because I'm looking at his stats right now, and he's only played with the Buccaneers since 2016. Um, 2016, he had 55 attempts, 223 yards, and he averaged 4.1 yards a carry. Um, 2017, he had 108 yards, 808 carries, 423 yards, and three yards a carry. 2018, he had a better year, more carries, 234 carries, 871 yards, three yards a carry. Um, then 2019, just last year, he had 154 carries and 470 yards and averaged 3.1 yards a carry. Now, Peyton Barber, I don't see him, or I, nor do I expect him to be a big role on this team. Now, a lot of people are, you know, they're freaking out because we have a lot of running backs. You just signed J.D. McKissick, and then we just signed him. Um, for as for the runners on this team, honestly, I see it being AP, Quadarius Geis, and, you know, J.D. McKissick being in the Chris Thompson third down back role. Now, I don't want everybody to freak out. You have to have bodies for, for camp, like my man Taylor West Welker said in the group chat. Don't freak out, guys. You have to have bodies on the roster for training camp, then we can make our cuts. I, so I'm not going to be shocked if he doesn't make the team, but I think he will make the team because we signed him to a two-year deal. Now, Peyton Barber, he is 225 pounds. Um, he's 5'8", 5'11", somewhere around there. Um, looking at his career stats, he has 15 touchdowns, 15 career touchdowns, and he had six touchdowns last year. So he, like I said, he's coming up one of his best years. He, is, he was used a lot in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense last year. So now he could be another third down back. But so maybe him and um, J.D. McKissick could fight it out for the third down role. But I currently like J.D. McKissick being the third down role, third down back, because we can split him out at wide receiver and or running back, which is his position. Now, if you want to get creative, why not have J.D. McKissick and Steven Sims in the backfield? You know, throw them off. So that can be really fun. It should be fun how how we use jd mckissick or this guy right here if we if we end up you know signing him or he might get cut before training camp so yet again here go the redskins with another small signing not something too huge that will blow your socks off seems like i'm, I'm getting numb to i'm getting used to it not really nothing to be you know ecstatic about he is young he's 20 he's only 25 years old and he's played with one team all his career so that should tell show you how reliable he is and how he that should tell you that uh for a player that's not really known or you know a huge player um that should tell you that he's somewhat good if one team is only one him because i know a lot of a lot of people that has been on about five teams and they've just come in the league in 2016 you catch my drift you see how i'm saying they're bouncing all around the league this guy has been on the same team same team since he's entered the league career stats 551 uh, carries about 2,000 yards and three average three yards a carry. So this Peyton Barber kid should be exciting to see what he got. Like I said again, he's going to be a depth piece. I don't see him being, you know, um, you know, a big role on his team. Maybe practice squad. Who knows? Um, we have we heard we currently have five running backs on the roster now: and Adrian Peterson, Darius Geis, um, J.D. McKissick, Chris Thompson, and now Peyton Barber. I see Chris Thompson, you know, being cut. Um, you know, I don't see him coming back next year. That's why, hence, he was crying when Jay Gruden got fired. Um, I wonder what we're going to do with Wendell Smallwood. I don't know if we're going to bring him back. We have a lot of, you know, running backs on this team, y'all. Then they even count the ones that's on the practice squad. 
So I really wanted us to bring back what was number twenty two names from last year in the preseason. I think it was like Craig. No, was it Craig Reynolds? I don't think that was his name. I forgot. But he was number twenty two in the preseason. He had a great preseason. So this should be interesting, y'all. I don't want y'all to freak out. Um, just we're building depth. We're building depth at all the positions. So I'm I'm really happy about it. So without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, to the Redskins as always. How do you feel about this move? The Washington Redskins just signed free agent running back Peyton Barber. How do you feel about this move? Do you like it? Do you not really care? Like, comment, subscribe, to the Redskins. It's been your boy, one guy. Peace.